So I just figured out a new way to save on some CPU. Uh, something I never knew about, but has actually saved me a lot of uh, heartache here. And it's by just removing your stop buttons that you aren't using. So, you know, all these clips have their own little stop buttons. If you right click on them, you can remove them. And you can add them too. So, if I show you what's going on in my live set, I got a zillion clips basically. And then I have all these live instrument inputs. And then I have all these routings for different effects that I like to put on, you know, my drums and certain other different um, tracks. So that's all there. And then I have all of this MIDI routing too, which is a lot for your computer to do. And I'm running into this problem when I click on my scene selector button here, I'm getting a pop. Listen to what happens. You hear that? Those little clicks are no good. And I've been driving myself mad trying to figure out how to do it. And I realized that when I just click on these two, I'm not getting pops and clicks when I'm just pushing those buttons. So I decided, what the heck, I'll remove all these stop buttons that I'm not using. And I have like probably a thousand. So um, I highlight the one in the top left and I don't need any of these stop buttons. So I'm going to select them all. I'm going to right click and I'm going to remove stop button. And now listen to what happens when I play this little track here. Nothing happens. Thank the good Lord. Um, that has saved me so much trouble and I'm so happy for it. So if you're running into problems with um, your tracks making little clicky noises when you are hitting the scene selector or just other things are running a little slow, try removing all your stop buttons. Worked for me. and I hope it works for you.